What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys, back yet again. More Last Day on Earth action. And another video in our Wasteland Survival Guide Tips and Tricks series. <laughs> We're going to be jumping into Transport Hub. We're going to be opening each crate, and at the end of it, we're going to be talking about, and I'll just give a little bit of a ranking on uh, each of the crates and what they bring. So we have uh, painstakingly, or less than so, I've actually really enjoyed this. We have jumped in and we have gone to Transport Hub a lot of times. We have opened up each of the different crates. We'll be showcasing that here next. I'll give a little bit of overall commentary as well, talking about what is in each crate, what you can kind of expect. Please keep in mind that these are single rolls for these crates. You can see a little bit of a variance in the crates that you open as well, especially with some of the more top end items. Uh, there is some consistency as I have seen as I've opened a handful of these multiple times, uh, but I will try to talk about that a little bit with each crate that we open. And again, we'll finish the video up to talking about our different rankings and what we think about Transport Hub and these crates and which one you should be selecting each time you visit. Let's jump in. All right, our first crate here is going to be the Unknown Shipper. Uh, this is actually a pretty unique little crate. This is one of the ones, well, there's a handful that you're going to see most consistently. Uh, this is probably the one that you will see most consistently. Really what this crate focuses in on uh, is going to be essentially fishing materials as well as some basic weapons, some pretty basic armors, and then a, a couple of additional, I'll call it good to have supplies. So you can see we got a handful of harpoons here. We did get lucky, I think, to get a professional fishing rod up at the top and then you can see some pretty basic armors. We've got a lot of motorcycle sets, some good melee weapons with katanas, and uh, and again, harpoons, not bad, and uh, crossbows, pretty cool, as well as a little bit of dog food. Our next crate here is going to be the aid crate. As you would imagine, this one is all focused on healing items. Now there's a couple of special little surprises in here. Probably one of the best things that we're going to be able to pick up is going to be a drone and a settlement item, which is the iodine. We also do get kind of a unique little bit here where we get a couple of weapons, uh, but iodine being a, probably the best thing out of this, as well as fuel briquettes. We do get a reanimator as well, a little bit of the, uh, the acid. We get a couple of these boxes, which we will end up pulling a few additional acid, I believe, and one inhaler. This is a pretty good overall crate. Again, if you're looking for a few specific items uh, to grab from this one. Our next crate here is going to be the GM crate, which is focused all around vehicles. Now, uh, there's a couple of interesting items inside of this, but as you would imagine, it's specifically focused on, on vehicle items. I think this can be a really helpful crate for you, depending on what you're looking for, especially to work towards building your ATV. Now, I don't think we hit a very good crate here, in my opinion. We only see the one car battery. We have a couple of repair kits, which is cool. We do have some sheaves and some motor oil, which again is good settlement items, some gas, some chopper parts here. I think where this is where that crate falls to the side a little bit. Our next crate here is going to be the CYF crate. This is specifically settlement items. Now, this has actually become one of my most favorite crates out uh, in the transport hub, especially early on as we continued and worked towards grinding uh, our settlement. And uh, the uniqueness of the rewards here can be pretty vast. You can expect basically any settlement related item, as you can see here. We have gotten lucky enough to grab slate. You can see resin and uh, asbestos there, some of the best items outside of that. Our next crate here is going to the B the BPD crate. crate. This is the Blackport PD crate. And as you would imagine, this is everything focused around Blackport PD. This actually was a really nice kind of surprising crate to grab. And one of the ones that we would put near the list, near the top of the list to get, because you get a good selection of weapons. This is probably the crate with the least amount of total gear in it. But as you can see, we grab some captain's cards. We get some good medals, as you would expect from being able to get the different crates out of the actual Blackport PD. And uh, titanium is nothing to be upset about as well. 
Our next crate is going to be the arm crate, which is actually based on basically a military crate. And as you would imagine, very much like Bunker Alpha, it's going to have a lot of supplies related essentially to Bunker Alpha, in addition to some uh, potential for some better armors and some different gear as well. You can get blueprints in this, so that is pretty cool. Obviously take the dice roll, and I also think we got relatively lucky with the armor, being able to get a really cool ghillie set. You can also see that we got a nicely modded AK up at the top. We got really lucky grabbing a tactical stock and a very rare blueprint from this, so it could be a good option if you're on the hunt for some additional weapon blueprints. Also important to note, we did get a decent amount of hardcore bunker alpha items as well, and a couple grenades for you to help clear. Floor All right, our final crate here is going to be the classified crate uh, with essentially just the badge. And this one is related to drone parts and uh, I'll call it some specialty items as well. You have two classified crates. You have the Genesis crate as well, which we just talked about. We get extremely lucky here. This is only the second time I've been able to do this and get a drone blueprint. You can see there's a lot of drone items. There is a few items that you could use for a settlement some radar armor we also get some genesis weapons inside of this crate um, and uh, some drone parts so this is probably my favorite you can only get access to this crate as well as the genesis crate as discussed by uh, um, uh doing utilizing the forklift and then we get a we just absolutely hit this and i'm going to showcase this here in a second we get the incendiary bullets mod for the drone which i am super super excited about drone blueprints if you're not familiar relatively hard to come by this is the full build for incendiary bullets. It's not very cheap, uh, but this one is absolutely awesome for us to jump into. And let's just quickly talk about the different crates. You heard a couple, a little bit of commentary as we were going through those, probably a few hints towards the crates that I would uh, most like to select. It should be noted that I think the classified crates, both the Genesis crate uh, and the other classified crate are absolutely awesome dependent on what you need the uniqueness of the transport hub and one of the reasons while a very difficult location that i have actually really enjoyed going to this location and working through it and farming it has been the fact that you get to select your reward at the end i really really hope if kafir and the last day on earth devs are listening that they do more like this in the future Bunker Alpha and the specific locations that we have, Port Lab, are really cool to get specific gear. I understand why those locations are there, and I actually really enjoy a lot of them. But it is really nice to have a location that essentially can be there for the settlement, in addition to the fact that, again, you get a prize at the end that you really, truly get to select. And I can imagine something like, almost similar to like Blackport uh, PD with different cards, uh, or, you know, hopefully Suburbs has locations where you can select a few different rewards based on your needs at the time to make the location more beneficial to everybody. Uh, now, I will say a couple of things. First and foremost here, I don't believe that the vehicles won. I don't really believe that the unknown shipper won. I don't really think the aid crates. I think those are pretty low tier for me. Um, I personally wouldn't select them. Aid crate, the only reason I would grab it would be for iodine. That is a relatively difficult resource to make. You need seaweed uh, to be able to do that, and that's not super easy to farm necessarily. Um, but outside of that, really, I would not grab any of those. Uh, you may not have access to the two classified crates if you have not fixed the forklift. So it's also important that I note that. Um, and if you don't, 
we can kind of keep those out of the list because again i think those are the best total top tier with everything that you can grab for the drone specifically as well as for clearing port lab which i think is also another great location to grind as it relates to kind of the crates in the middle i will say um i actually was a pretty big fan of the police crate now granted you did not get a ton of rewards from that. That and the military crate were relatively lacking in total volume, but I think they both delivered on really good weapons. The reason I give the Blackport PD crate kind of the extra nudge above that ends up being the fact that we got some captain's cards as part of that. Now, I haven't grabbed that crate a lot, so I don't know how consistent those are, but I will say that being able to grab this crate, then go to that location and grab two more really can help you roll out a ton a ton of uh opportunities for at least some decent blueprints for some weapons as well as additional weapons and armor if that's what you're looking for i think that's a really really good selection i also am a huge fan of the settlement the cyf crate um, i think that one if you're looking towards building your settlement that is what has allowed me to kind of catch up and be able to continue to work towards maxing our settlement getting the different buildings up to their top levels and then making some good progress as well with our van. So I do wanna give that one a special shout out. Again, it's really kind of dependent on what you want. It's kind of dependent on what you need at the time. If you're going to this location and you are completing it and you have the drone, uh, obviously you're probably pretty well advanced. It's not a simple thing to do and uh, you probably don't need a ton of basic resources. But again, if you've been lacking on your settlement or maybe you've been really grinding the settlement and don't need those things, I think you've got a couple of really, really good options there in the middle that'll provide a ton of value and make going to the location worth it. Obviously, you also have to keep in mind that Transport Hub by itself has some good spots where you can grab some additional loot crates uh, near the, the shipping containers at the end. They have some really, really good stuff in them. You have the little kind of police station-esque part to the side that can provide uh, some of the drone parts that you're looking for. So overall, while I know this location has been nerfed from when it was originally kind of put out there, I still think it is a great grind location for a lot of top end materials uh, and things that you should be looking for. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed a video like this. Again, we are doing our Wasteland Survival Series, which is really dedicated to kind of deep diving into different locations, tips, and tricks. This one, obviously, for Transport Hub was specifically related to uh, the different crates that you could find and the rewards that you could get from it. So I do hope you enjoyed that aspect of it. Uh, in addition to that, we have also uh, gone through and killed each of the bosses and talked about different strategies for that. So if you're looking for that, um, that is up on the channel as well. And uh, we'll be diving into more topics in addition to that. So if there's any that we haven't produced yet and you'd like to see down below in a little bit more deep dive and a little bit more deep discussion, let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do. With that, I'm going to flash from socials, like, comment, subscribe, help us get to the 10K mark and beyond. And again, Go check out some of the other content on the channel. We have a free-to-play series that we're rocking and rolling with, which is a great, great resource and guide for folks that are trying to make their way through the wasteland and uh, clear the locations and get some good progression. We talk about a lot of this stuff as we've cleared through and made our way through the story mode and as we've built up our base and our settlement as well. So I've been Doc. We are the Average Gamer, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.